ik ben Julia. Ik wil graag een pixie kapsel, want ik ben, wil wel graag weer iets anders proberen. Ja, leuk. Wil je een rondje draaien? Ja. She, she wants pixie hairstyle. And because she really likes to yeah, play with her hairs. So I'm gonna make her a beautiful pixie, not ultra ultra short, but that I'll explain while I'm working. And this was the turning around. Woo! Is that cool? Hello friends on YouTube, got me a model again. Now she was in the salon yesterday with my daughter and I, I told I asked her to be my model, but then I heard her talking to my daughter. She's standing beside me that she wants to get a short hairstyle. So then I needed her as a model. So that's why she's here. Gonna give her a nice haircut. She has fine hair. So for those who think I have fine hair, she has also fine hair. So I want to give her a bit more structure. I want to give her a, a, a coloring, but not a coloring. So just lighting up the hairs a bit so the products better stay in the hairs because now it's ultra smooth, so the products you put in the hair just travel off your hair. They, they, they stay in one breeze of wind and then they're gone. So start with wetting the hair, then we come and see how a beautiful color is. Because I can see the shapes but not really good because it's like a tail flat. I don't want the, the shape she has to bring out. And because it's uh, fine hair, I'm gonna do this cut. Also with a hot tool, because then I have the hair sealed on the ends, so they stay in a much better condition. And it certainly will be a pixie, but not ultra, ultra short with clippers, because that's too short for this fine hair. Thank God she has a lot of hair. Apply a moisturized product to the hairs, it's a leap in product. Comb this through the hairs. Then I'm gonna watch what her hair does. She has a slight waving at the front. Part myself a line. Now she showed me some photos that a bit asymmetrical in the front, but that doesn't mean it has to be totally asymmetrical. So in the underlines it may be a pixie hairstyle at all, but then you get a disconnect on the front. And when you hear us talking in between, and when she started to talk to you, we are Dutch, so we have the Dutch language. And for those who don't know what the Dutch are, we are living in the Netherlands, also called Holland. Not Amsterdam. Amsterdam. And not, not, and not Germany. Yes, okay. Germany is a neighbor country of us. Although we live near to Germany. For example, where we are now in Nijmegen is about uh, 12 km from Germany. Well, starting on her right side. Get in with my hot tool, it's a hot race of ergo. And get rid of some hair. Get rid of the wavy part. Brings only trouble, the styling. Lift the hairs up, hold my fingers in the line of the eyebrow line. And now I'm gonna see a beautiful ears. The contour I have to do with a normal scissor. Just because this tool is 190 degrees Celsius, I cannot get to the skin, of course. Otherwise, I would burn the skin, and uh, that's not what we like. Coming on the ear. Still working the same lines. I'll just show you in a second what I'm doing. First set out a sideburn, turn a bit, so you can see a bit more. Set that wavy part to the front, go in and cut it in the line 
so it falls into the holy bone. Set the hairs to the back, go in with another scissor, lay the hairs to the front, get rid of the under parts, pull the ear down. It's a bit hard to do because I'm out of focus. Ik zit een beetje naast de lijn, knippen voor mezelf. Go in from the other side. So now I have a baseline where I can work on. And now I'm coming to the part where the skull bone is really a factor of this hairstyle. So it's nice to see what's going on. Yeah, that's okay. Because I have a guideline now, I can work on the rest. So what I do is, take the hairs up, watch at the lines of a skull, knowing that we are going for short, but not ultra, ultra, ultra short, because she has fine hair, but she loves to have a big sheep. And she asked her parents to have permission to put this on YouTube. And the nice thing of my models is they get all the photos in front and afterwards all the photos. So it, they can choose which one they want to hold and which one they don't want. When I'm done with this part, I'll show you the difference between the right side and the left side. Not leaning again on the skin just softly working out the line. But you see already the shapes she adds to the hairs with a short on the line because now you get this rounding and this is hanging just boring to the back. Show you the difference between both sides. So you see how much length is coming up. Now I can start on this side and work to the center line. First wet it, take the hairs up again into the line, knowing where I started, in the center on the ears, and the nice thing of this tool is it doesn't damage the hair at all. But normally with fine hair you don't use a razor to do the cut. But I find it very trendy and I really like to work with it because I can really shape the hairs on a person. So like I do on her now, I watch through the hairs. I'm on the part where I can see the skin and of course what I'm cutting. Normally I would cut on the outside so my fingers lay in between it. So I can hardly see what is going on. So I have to trust my guidelines and now I can really shape the hairs the way I like them and I can follow the lines. Dat stukje is zo vlug droog. Dat was stukje. Is het wel spannend? Valt mee? Ik weet het wel spannend. Ja, ja, op zich wel, maar ja. Je vertrouwt het ook wel. Ja, ja, precies. Ik ga je niet beschrijven laten, want ik hou van jou. Ja, die was ook wel, voor mijn haar was ik ook wel echt toe aan iets anders. Ja, maar het is leuk dat je dat hebt. Dat is ook leuk. Het is ook leuk aan vrouwen zijn. Je, mag, je kan doen wat je wil. Ja. Ja. Er zal niemand zeggen, ja, sommigen zeggen wel, de andere was mooier. Of, uh, dat heb je altijd. Maar jij kunt doen wat je wil. Als je morgen rood haar wil, kun je rood haar verven. Als je zwart wil, maak je zwart. Dus niet, ja, ze zeggen het of ze het leuk vinden of niet, maar dat is het enige. Ja. Zo, so hold this line. Ultra soft in line because it's really nice on her and on the shape she has. So like that to be ultra soft. Coming to the front. We see already the shapes coming into it. Wet it again. Smoothies. Take parts of the front with it so it get into the curve like I did on the other side. Get rid of the ultra fine hairs. 
they are only in the way. And you see the parting on this side is a little bit higher. Uh, sorry, <laughs> parting on this side is a little bit lower, so I can make this side a little bit longer. Only the underlines are then in pixie line, so when she puts the hairs to the back, she has a real pixie hairstyle. Coming to my scissor again. Ook wel fijn om nu gewoon helemaal niks met mijn haar te hoeven. Nee, je hoeft alleen met de handen te doen. Ik vind het echt dadelijk heel erg knap wie jij dadelijk. Coming in with my scissor. Lay the hairs to the front again. Have a little bit hair that goes in the opposite line, so take a little bit off. In scissor of comb. And those fine hairs you don't need because they are always sticking out. Give it a rounding. See how beautiful her ears are. Beautiful small ears. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mama and Pap. <laughs> what I told you, I leave the line soft, so I take off only the hairs. They are laying out of line. I think that my rope is now just all the way. We get a little short and a TikTok and a yeah. <laughs> look. Now I free the upper hair. I can start from that. Part myself a line from the center line. To behind the ears, set the front or side. Do this on both sides. So take only the line that's laying on the skull bone. Coming to the short part of the pixie hairstyle. Gonna work this out from the natural lines and holding natural lines. Take the hairs off. Bend them into the roundings of a beautiful skull and follow the lines of that. Take a new line on it, take it to the front, set up my first line. And gently go into the lines of our natural shapes. Holding all the softness I can. Wonderful soft this is and how beautiful the lines are. Okay, go ahead, sit. There. Take a new line on it, lay it in the beautiful roundings, go to my guiding line, travel slightly and gently below the skull bone. So I leave some hair on the line to create softness into the hairstyle. Do this till I get on the center line of the skull. Let's see how beautiful the lines are. Come and get the center line. Take the hairs up. I'm going to work in the opposite lines, knowing, of course, what my guideline is. And also knowing that this side, the left side, is a little bit longer. Gently travel into the line of cutting.
turn this some more. Take the hairs to the front. Watch the length I want. Here I want more length, so I take it a little bit deeper in the underlines. But to the back, it stays the same. Het moeilijke is van knippen met YouTube is dat je alles uitlegt. Normaal gesproken knip ik echt in een flow, dus dan ben ik echt zo klaar. Ja. Maar nu moet ik alles uitleggen, dus dan wordt het iets lastiger om te werken. Ja, kan ik me voorstellen. Take the clip off. And now come to the line that she likes. So part hairs in the line of cutting. Take them to the side. I know she likes to have a little bit more length in this line. So I go a little bit lower. But when she takes it to the back, she has already a pixie hairstyle. And then I connect back to the front. Every time taking up in the natural lines. So I create that beautiful fall to the back. And to create a natural rounding. Take a new line on it. First go to the back. Watch through the hairs where my guideline is. Take it low. See how beautiful the line will be. Turn a bit more. So now I go into the chin line. So I leave a little bit more length on this line. This way she can play with the hairs a lot more. Take them to the back, connect them on the baseline of cutting, twist them over. Minor adjustments to the line. Come to the last part. So now I have a nice line that lays into the lines. So when she lays it to the back with a little bit styling product, she can lay it into the lines of her hair. Still keep it behind the ears because she has fine hair. So she has a little bit base to hold on, but she has also a nice short hairstyle. Go to the other side. Coming to the short part. This lays a little bit higher. So watch through the hairs. On the top of the ears. So I don't connect it to the underlines because they went higher. They went till there. So it's about uh, one inch, three centimeters higher. I don't bother about that because, yeah, she likes to have a little bit length. So she can have a little bit length. I watch at her chin tones and they are very beautiful because they are light, they are white, they are a little bit silverish. So I'm gonna work on the color a bit, but not much because uh, a little bit color into her hair gives her more structure, more ways to style the hair. Now it falls off when you put a styling product on the hairs and I don't want that to happen. So that's why we're gonna use also a little bit coloring. The center line. Take the hairs off to the front. Take the longer hairs over, knowing that they are longer. Go in from the back, lay them on the line of the beautiful chin line. But when she's going swimming and the hairs flip over to the other side, she has still a beautiful hairstyle. When you 
hear carefully, you can hear the hissing of the blade. Because when there's enough water on the hairs, they damp, of course. And that you can hear. Lift the front over. Watch at the beautiful lines. Take off a tear she does need. <laughs> a tear of happiness. Come to the other side. And the fine thing of fine hair is that you have always soft light. They are beautiful to work with. Then I come to the top. Take the hairs up in the center line. Lift them up to the center. Take off only small parts. So I'm certain that it is all the hairs. And I connect also the left side to the right side, the right side to the left. And then I'm going to make her that ultra soft color. Go one more time over the same line. Afterwards, I take away the small hairs she don't need, but this gives her only an, uh, irritation, so I leave them for now the way they are, and afterwards I do that. Now, put on protection for coloring. I'm using of uh, the um, Kin line 11 12, it's a cool color. I use this with 3%, that's 10 volume, so it's hardly nothing, but it puts also in a protection system to reduce that little damage that it could give also away. What it does is it brings the color a little bit more into the deep colors, lights up a, a little bit, not much, just a little bit, so it gives a summer feeling, but also the fresh feeling. And the colors of her skin will look much nicer, warmer, healthier. And I don't want to get far off her natural color because she has a beautiful natural color. In the underlines, I leave the hairs the way they are. I don't color the underlines. So I get more volume, more depth into the color. But that way you can also see the difference between both colors. And when it would grow out a bit, but it doesn't because it's near to her own color, you have also a directly a connection between both colors. This is a vegan product, there's nothing hard on the product. And kin lines are really, really beautiful. They don't have parabena, they don't have ammonia. And they are nursing to the heads. And for her, because she has fine hair, all the styling products we're going to use stick into her hair. That's the most important thing. So she can get more volume, more power and more crazy hairstyles. All both lines off each other, take a carton wig, lay it around the hairs. The front I lay mostly a small part of carton wig, this is just for the plastic foil. This is closed, then we go for a coffee and tea, wait for 20 minutes, rinse it out and then we're back for end styling and finishing the hairstyle. But don't go away, we won't. Zijn de watjes dan om het tegen te houden? Ja, om de kleuren apart te houden ook. Oh. Want die onderkleur is gewoon je eigen kleur. Okay. Maar dat heb je er niet nodig, want het is kort. Hè? Explain why the other color is her own color. Because this fine hair slips, what I told you, the products off. But she don't need in the other lines a styling product. Because there is no, nothing to get, so because it's short. So that's why only on top. Okay, we're back. Now I put some uh, protection products on the hairs, blow drying. I 
I'm gonna make her a volume. But before I do this, I clean the neckline, what I told you. Turn on, so you can see what I'm doing. Lay the hairs in the natural lines. Get rid of the under hairs. These are woolly hairs, they never get real hairs. Do this on both sides, of course. To have a nice clean neckline. I'm going to use a brush to blow dry hair. It starts in the back, building up to the front. Ja, mooi van deze kleur is dan niemand. En dan heb je die kabels, ja dan. En je kunt ook zien wat de huid is gewoon heel mooi rustig is. Wat ik al zeg, het is een heel zacht product dat we hebben gebruikt, dus wat dat betreft zit er niks hards aan. En is het dan ook het beste om het zelf ook te feunen als ik... Uh... Nou, weet je, jij mag gewoon lekker op de kop gaan hangen. Gewoon even, want je kunt nu veel meer volume maken. En als je lekker gewoon zo roebelt met je handen, en dan toepeer je eigenlijk je haar zonder dat je toepeert, dan krijg je ook heel veel volume. Nee, ik doe dat hier nog wel eens ook make-up en dat soort dingen. Dat vind ik gewoon leuk. Mm -hmm. Als je denkt van nou, je wordt er echt veel mooier van, dan weet je nog wel eens een keertje. Voor de foto's is het ook leuk. Als je net even, even een kleintje klein. Ik vind het niet veel te zijn. Ik vind namelijk dat jij de schoonheid vertegenwoordigt en niet. Uh, de dingen is de make-up, dat vind ik echt belangrijk. Ja. Het mag een toevoegetje zijn aan jouw schoonheid, maar het moet niet zo zijn dat een hoofdrol gaat spelen. Want dan krijg je zo'n drek in die idee. Ja. Nou, eens even kijken, en starting. Dan gaan we iets uh, combineren. Uh, 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 uh. Want ik wil even ietsje meer power erin hebben. Dat is leuk als het zo zacht is. For so far, uh, blow drying. Now I take a styling. I take, take a kangoo of glint and a crystal turn. I take about uh, one and a half centimeters of crystal turn. It's a product of Goldwell and that's KMS in the States. And I take a small amount of the kangoo. It's a clayey product with a little bit fiber. Those products I mix into each other, spread them all over my hands. Try to reduce them to zero, so it's not to see anymore that I'm certain that that's what I like it to do. And this I'll apply on my hair. Skin. You don't have your not too much because her hair is a fine hair, so I don't need much product, just a little bit, just to give it that slop, yeah, stylish touch. And see how wonderful the color is. Now I thank you for being my model, I thank you for watching. She will certainly turn around to show you the end result. We see each other next video. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm going to try it. And can you the other side? It doesn't make it. Can it also make it? Yeah, it makes it. Thank you. Hoi, ik ben Julia. Ik wil graag een pixie kapsel, want ik ben wil wel graag weer iets anders proberen. Ja, leuk. Wil je een rondje draaien? Yeah. She wants pixie hairstyle, and because she really likes to, yeah, play with her hairs, so I'm gonna make her a beautiful pixie, not ultra ultra short, but that I'll explain while I'm working. And this was the turning around. <laughs>